Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So the other day I posted a picture on my Instagram rocking this look and I decided I want to do a tutorial for it because I thought it was pretty fun to do and it was pretty fun to wear especially during this season right now because typically you're just seeing a lot of um, summer makeup, still a lot of spring makeup, very light bright colors and when I was just kind of going through my lipsticks the other day I came across this little guy that I picked up a few months ago when these um, lip glosses came out. So I decided to put it to use and just kind of come up with a look for it. I actually still think it's kind of appropriate for spring only because the purple is more of a ooh, electric purple. So it's still really fun. But you know, fact of the matter is this is makeup. We're supposed to have fun with it. You're supposed to be able to do whatever you want. It's your face. It's your makeup. I mean, who's to tell you what you can and cannot wear on your own face, right? Another key thing to keep in mind about this look is the fact that the rest of our face, as far as our eyes and our skin, aren't going to be left matte. So if you had it in a matte version or in a matte way, um, it might make it a little bit more fall or winter appropriate. But the fact that we're going with a dewy skin look and a glistening eye, then that's really the key to keeping it almost appropriate for this season that we're in. So let's get started. Shout out to all the girls with the messy bun. Okay, so first off, we're going to be priming our lids, and I'm going to be using Urban Decay's Sin Lid Primer. I don't know why I have never used this before. Um, this was a sample packet that I got with my Naked 3 palette, and it comes with four different little pods of all their different eyelid primers. And this one has such a beautiful shimmer to it that it is ridiculous. Ridiculous. I, I, when I opened this, this was the first time actually using it when I did this look, and I was like, OMG, this is beautiful. Even just left on its own, it is so pretty. I hope the camera does it justice. Then taking the color Ambush from the Urban Decay Vice 2 palette, you're going to want to take this with a crease brush and from inner corner to outer corner, going back and forth in windshield wiper motions in your crease, and then in circular motions, making sure you're buffing it out towards the brow bone. This is just going to help diffuse the color and make sure you have that real nice subtle smoke effect. And don't worry about being too clean with this. Um, if you go a little too far past your your outer corner, it's okay because we're going to go back in and clean up with some eye makeup remover. That's the plus side about doing your eyes first. And then of course just doing the same process on the other eye. Then taking the color Rewind from the same palette and a pencil brush, we're going to be pushing this into the outer V of the eye. This is going to help just define the eye a little bit more and of course help with the smoky effect. And then taking my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in Black is Black. This is my favorite gel liner. Um, it doesn't budge at all throughout the day and also it doesn't irritate my eye like some um, gel liners or eyeliners do. And you're just going to want to create a wing line, extending it a little further, making it a um, more dramatic wing, just so it blends in with our falsies later on. And I'm going to kind of just speed through this um, because the liner part can be a little time consuming. And if y'all are interested in a wing liner tutorial, then um, let me know. But other than that, bada bing, bada boom, and our liner is done. Then taking a makeup remover, this is my favorite one of all time, it's Mary Kay's Oil Free Eye Makeup Remover. I love it so much. It's not greasy at all and it seriously wipes everything off with such ease. It is amazing. It leaves nothing behind. And with just a Q-tip, you're going to want to just clean up under the eye area. You can even clean up the edge of your liner if you didn't get that straight, clean cut. And um, it really helps clean up the primer that kind of got around our whole under eye area too. It's super tacky, so it kind of got everywhere. But um, you can just clean it up real easily with this. Now going on to the face, I'm going to be using Mary Kay's Botanical Effects Moisturizer in Formula 3. And this is suitable for oily skin. And the purpose of putting on a moisturizer before foundation is it's important to keep that skin hydrated because the finish will come out a lot smoother. And you just want to press this into the skin. Then taking a green concealer, I'm using one from NYX. And what this is going to do is cancel out any redness that I've had from blemishes. So you're going to want to dot that onto the areas where you have red discoloration. 
and you're going to want to let it dry after you um, pat it down. You can use your ring finger or a brush, totally up to you. And you're going to want to make sure that it dries and sets before going on with your foundation because if not, it's just going to move it around and defeat the purpose of it. Alright, for foundation, I'm doing something a little bit different this time. I'm actually mixing my Ivory 5 Matte Formula and my Ivory 6 Luminous Formula in the Mary Kay Time Wise Liquid Foundation. I don't know what possessed me to do this, but um, I was just kind of feeling it. I wanted to give it a try because I didn't want a a straight matte look for this. I kind of wanted it to keep it a little bit dewy, quote unquote. Um, so I wanted to just give it a try and I actually really like the way it came out. So maybe it worked. Then of course going in with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, I did repurchase this, but instead of getting NW20 this time, I got NC15. And I gotta say, I think it helps brighten up my under eye a little bit more. Um, it's gonna look a little scary right now since I'm so pale, but once you add on your bronzer and everything else and your blush, it really blends out nicely and it really helps my contouring. So any excess that you have after applying under the eye area, you can dot it on to the center of your forehead, bridge of your nose and center of your chin, and also the sides of your jawline and just buff it all out. Next, taking my Mary Kay Ivory 2 Concealer. Again, this is gonna go over the areas that I felt like I need a little bit more coverage, like if I need any more coverage, right? <laughs> and over the areas where I had those blemishes, just because I really wanted to conceal them, I felt like they kind of still peeked through just a little bit. But just taking that same foundation brush we used to help the blending of it. Then setting everything with my Mary Kay Ivory 2 Pressed Powder. As you can tell, I need a new one ASAP. And you just want to pat this on or stipple this on all over your face. Then taking my Mary Luminizer by The Bomb, this is my favorite highlighter right now, it is ridiculous. And you just want to put this on the brow bone of your eyes and also on the corner of your lids. This is just going to help highlight it and it's going to just really give your eyes that pop, especially on that inner corner. It just um, really opened up the eye area for me and it's just really going to give a nice um, shimmering effect. Then taking L'Oreal Smoldering Eyeliner, we're going to be applying this onto our waterline. And you're not going to want to put this all the way from inner corner to outer corner. You're actually going to want to stop right where our highlight begins because again, it's going to help open up the eye area more instead of closing it off. And then it's just going to make the eye look, I think, a little bit too dark and smoky, which wasn't what I was trying to go for for this specific look. But if that's what you want, then by all means, drag it from um, inner corner to outer corner. Then taking Mary Kay's Lash Up Mascara in I Love Black, I'm going to be coating my eyelashes top and bottom and prepping them for our false eyelashes. And you're going to want to make sure you just really get in there and separate them to help the blending. And don't ignore those bottom lashes. Actually, the bottom lash I think really also helped with this look. It helped, again, open up the eye area. It does make a difference and it does help define your eyes. For the next step, I'm just going to kind of speed through it, but I am going to be applying my brows with my Anastasia Dip Brow in dark brown. And my lashes are from Ilor, and I'm going to be attaching them with my favorite lash adhesive from Duo. And voila, you can see that these eyelashes totally add on to this look, making it more dramatic. Next, I'm going to start contouring with my Tarte Amazonian Clay Matte Bronzer in Park Avenue Princess. As always, I'm totally running out of this already, so I am in the market for a new bronzer. And I'm just going to be taking this with a big fluffy face brush and applying this onto the hollows of my cheeks and going up towards my temples and into my hairline. And of course, also dragging it uh, across my jawline as well and doing some light contouring on my nose. Next, I'm taking Tarte's 12 Hour Blush. This is in the shade Blissful, and this is just your perfect bright magenta. Typically, when I do a bright lip or a very bold lip, I tend to do more of a muted cheek, more of a neutral cheek, but I actually found that this helped brighten up the face a little bit more, and it made it more spring and summer, and it complemented the lipstick pretty well. Then for highlighting, I'm going back with my Mary Luminizer and I am just going to be applying this onto my cupid's bow, center of my chin, bridge of my nose, and the high points of my cheeks. Next. 
Next, I'm going to go in with Mary Kay's bronzer, and this isn't a matte bronzer. It has some shimmer to it, um, but although I'm sure you could still use it for contouring. But I'm actually going to be applying this all over the face. It's just to add some more color and give that tan look, which is going to help um, make your skin look not so pale against the purple lipstick. And here is the fun part. I am applying the Maybelline Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Vision in Violet. It is such a fun color and I just can't get enough of it. And the quality of these glosses are insane. They are really good quality and super affordable. This is the completed look guys and my left eyelash is totally about to fall off. I am barely noticing that now looking back on the footage but I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and thanks so much for watching.